Gotcha is the next command that we're going to teach. Why is this one important? Well, I don't know you about you, but there's many clients that I've met that when they want to get their dog are running around the yard trying to chase him down. First of all, when you teach a dog that when I get you, good things happen, you will completely reverse psychology. So you never want to go out and grab your dog or call your dog to you and take them to the vet or take them to get a bath or get their nails trimmed or put them in their crates. You want to always pair it with something positive. Something good always happens when I get caught or when I come to you. So remember, again, this isn't a normal behavior. This, this isn't something they would do dog to dog. This is something humans need dogs to do. So when we teach gotcha, I'm teaching a couple of things. First of all, when dogs correct one another, and that's pack leaders usually and only, they correct right behind the ears. Well, what happens when we have children or we need our dog and they don't have a collar on, we grab them, usually right behind the ears. Well, this can throw right into the DNA a thought, I'm in trouble. I'm either being attacked to be eaten or I'm getting attacked. So they're going to turn around possibly bite. Now, if you worked on bite inhibit, as we taught in the bite pro, then you really won't have to worry about maybe actually having a dog bite your fingers. They may just mouth them. But if you focus on the fact that anytime a child comes up, and touches here, anywhere, that can be very, very scary. So you first need to train that when I grab you right here, good things happen. Now, Zany doesn't really like a lot of treats. Oh, but Zany kind of, there we go, we spit one out. But that's okay, as long as I'm still giving something positive. Now, normally these treats, Zany gets a little stressed, camera stress, so not doing real well with that. But under normal circumstance, I could probably have the treat be something Zany would be fine to eat. So we're going to repeat that. The first part of gotcha is with them right here next to you. You're just practicing the walking up and again, see how my body motion is? It looks just like prey. Something coming in and getting your dog. So you give a treat. Gotcha. Good. And treat. Okay. So that would be the beginning. Now we're going to make this into the next level, which is at a distance. The leash is on. It's on a regular collar. This isn't, it looks like a choke collar, but it's actually a sporn collar, so it doesn't actually choke. So I want it on a regular collar, not a regular choke collar. The leash can be dragging, so you can either use a six foot or a long line, which is a six foot and a 30 foot long line. You want to be able to step on that. That's the point of it, dragging. Walk up and say, gotcha, good and treat. So that's the first step to this. Okay. The next is if I were outside, I'd add the long line. I drop the line. I'm at a distance. I walk up. I step on the leash. I grab the neck. Then I say, gotcha. So you notice I haven't said a word until I actually have contact with the dog. Why is this important? Well, if you've ever watched somebody chasing their dog, they've already started yelling and they've already started walking to grab them and yelling. So you've got to make sure that the word gotcha and contact is only reinforced once I actually have my doggy and I can reward them for allowing me to touch them. We do 20, 30 repetitions and then we say, okay, go play every single time. So that the association is only good things happen when somebody grabs my neck and I get to go run back out and play. You don't want to always do this and then take them inside. Now, if they freak and happen to turn back and look, then you know that you've got to maybe handle this just slightly a little different. That would never be something you want to correct. Otherwise, it validates the very fear that was already in the doggy's mind, that something near my neck, bad things might happen because that's what would happen in their world. So I might just come up like for a moment like this, gotcha, and then treat. So you adjust to your dog's personality. You don't expect every dog to handle this. Now that I'm getting success with this, I could add a child into the picture. Now again, I have to teach children how to respond with dogs because they're going to do what normal kids do. They want to flare their arms. They want to come up and put their hands in their face. Well, right away, that could be a, a happening for a bite. It's a very frightening situation for most dogs. 
No dog would allow every dog right into their own space. So it's real important to teach them. They have to gradually come up and say, gotcha, and then they can give a treat. 